welcome back to the channel guys and to another video uh, today we're doing the rear brakes both sides the pads and the discs um, as you'll know from the last video it did actually fail on the rear brakes they weren't braking hard enough on one side so I'm going to do that today get them changed and hopefully that's all it needs to to get it through the, the retest so if you saw the last video you'll know that it also failed on the exhaust system so that'll be getting changed in the next video I'm not looking forward to that one because I think it's going to be quite a, a job. Uh, anyway, if you like the videos um, and you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also the notifications bell and then you'll get a reminder when a new video drops. So, let's get to the video. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So we've got brake pads. Which in the picture looks like the wrong one. So I don't know, hopefully not. Um, let's double check that because that's the wrong the wrong style. Okay, that could be a problem. New brake discs. There we go. So these aren't obviously Brembo. I just got smooth ones this time with no pattern because of the problem I had last time. Um, also, the Brembo ones weren't in stock, so uh, the smooth Brembo ones, so I'm just going to stick with these. There you go. Alright, I'm going to double check these pads, and then we'll get on and get everything fitted to the car. Okay, I'm just going to check inside the box. So on the picture there, that is the correct one, so I think that's just like a standard picture, so let's just double check, see what we've got. Yeah, that's okay. That's what we need. Perfect. Right, let's take all this out to the garage and, and get it fitted. So a closer look at the disc. You can see there's a band of rust there on the disc, which I'm thinking that's the reason probably why it didn't break very well on the, on the inspection, um, particularly on this side. So we're going to take the, the disc off, change the disc, and change the pads. Okay, so the disc is held on by two screws, bolts here and here. So I don't think they've been taken off in 20 odd years. So I'm going to spray some WD-40 on just to loosen the well, just to help penetrate and make it easier to take them off. I'll leave that a couple of minutes and then we'll try and loosen them off. A bit of movement here. Go WD-40. Yep, that one's loose as well. So when you do this, make sure that the the handbrake is off and we've got the, the wheels chopped and put the car in gear as well so it doesn't move. Okay, it's going to drop so I'm going to have to rest it on that little box there. Part number two. Right, I finally got the caliper off, that was an absolute nightmare. It got stuck, it wouldn't go over that lip. Anyway, that's done now. So I need to finish taking the, the disc off now, take the guides off. There's a space there as well, that'll come off. And then the disc, and then we can check the piston, and then start looking at putting the new disc back on, and the pads.
give it a tap to help it off. There we go. Done. Alright, next thing I'll do I think is give everything a spray with um, brake cleaner. And just get rid of all the loose dust and just give it a bit of a clean up so we can see what we're working with. So as I'm doing all these jobs really for the first time, I do quite a bit of research before and on the caliper I was just expecting to be able to push it back in like I did on the front with the C-clamp but with the rear brake caliper, if you're like me you probably didn't know this but you actually have to screw it back in, you can't just push it back in. So what you need is a special tool to push against it and, and screw it back in and push it back into the caliper. So I bought one of these um, tool sets from Amazon, about 20 euros, um, and that's, that's what we need to do. So I'll grab that now, and then we'll push the caliper back into the piston, and then we can start putting everything back together. So here's what's arrived, um, the brake rewind tool, that's good, get a pair of gloves for that as well, that's worth it. Um, so you've got your little discs here which fit against the, the brake caliper and then you screw it in like with the front caliper it just got pushed in with these you actually turn okay our guide says where are we for Fiat use number four so there we go it's number four yeah so we'll put that on our tool So two tools because one goes clockwise, one goes anti-clockwise. So I'm assuming that it gets rewind back in clockwise, but we'll give it a try. So let's get this onto the caliper. So before we start pushing the piston back in, we need to make sure that the brake fluid reservoir is open. And I've got that bit of cloth there just to make sure in case any liquid gets pushed back out when I'm pushing the, the caliper the piston back into the caliper because the pressure might push some liquid back out so that's just to capture any liquid that, that comes out. <laughs> that cover looks so good. You can actually see that being painted in the previous episode. I'll put a link up in the top corner of the screen now and then when you finish watching this video you can skip to that one and take a look. So we've got our plate that goes on. It's magnetic which is good, it just snaps on. And you can probably see that the caliper needs a repaint as well but I've just not got time at the moment because I've only got a, a short amount of time before the, the inspection and I've got to get the brakes done and still got to do the exhaust so I've got limited time so uh, that's why they're not getting painted this time but obviously that's something that I can do in the future. Yeah, that's tight in there. You've got our two nodules sitting in the groove. And now I just need to tighten up. And hopefully, we'll push it back in. And it's not totally seized. If it's totally seized, then I'm not sure what we're going to do. Right, I'm actually using the, um, the wheel brace to go over the end. And that's actually helping to, to turn it. Okay, I think it's finally going back in. Alright, so as you can see, the caliper has eventually gone back in. So there's a bit of a top tip there. If you're sort of trying to wind it back in, you just think it's turning, on it, turning in on itself, and it's just not going, it's not, not moving in, it's just turning on itself, then 
just keep going. I've just turned it loads and loads and loads and eventually started going back in. Um, but I did need this, even though I've got the new gloves that came with the kit. I did need this to sort of put over the, the bar here um, to help me get some sort of pressure on it. But anyway, it's going. I think I'll push it a little bit more and then we can um, start putting everything back together. Let's get the tool off. There you can see our piston pushed back into the, the caliper. So that gives me plenty of room to put them back together and get the pads in. I'm just going to give them a wipe before they go on because that's what it says to do. Smart. So the only thing is that we've got the, the new discs on. We've got that rusty old spacer to go on there. I know nobody's gonna see it, but I'm just gonna give that a quick rub over just to clean it up. I've given it a quick, just a quick rub over with a bit of sandpaper just to clean it up a bit. So that can go back on there. Right, they just need tightening up. So what I'll do, I've actually put thread lock on the back of the, the main caliper bolts. I've put thread lock on those, which I didn't record, but I'll put them on here as well, just to be sure. I'm just going to screw them in by hand first, and then I'll tighten them up after. So that's it, new discs, new pads. Like I said, I'll paint the calipers another time because at the moment I'm just trying to get these other jobs done um, so we can get it ready for the second inspection. That was the old pads that came off. And if you look, you can see where they, they sprayed the, the calipers before and they've just painted over the discs. I'm not really bothered to mask and anything up, so that's not very good. Anyway, so that's these done. So we'll move over to the other side and put a new disc and new pads on that side as well. Well that's a wrap, that's all for today's video, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll be doing the exhaust, like I said, 
not really looking forward to that because I think it's going to be quite a job to, to get it off. Anyway, um, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button. And don't forget to share it as well. If you think that someone else would enjoy watching this, then, then share the video. And I'll see you next time.